Hey guys, welcome back to another video. It's Griffin here, and today we're gonna be doing our first scripting video for Roblox. And yeah, um, so the scripting we're doing is well, the regular Roblox scripting, um, language LUA. But today we're gonna be discussing local variables in script, in scripts. So yeah, let's get into the video. Anyways, if you've seen like a, a scripting video by like Alvin Blocks or some other YouTuber, you've probably seen in um, the start of it, they did local variables or just something that starts with local. Well, these are called local variables, like I just said. And yeah, so let's put here local variable. So, local, yes. You can name, if you um, have a local variable, all you have to do is put local, and then just, like, name the thing after local, whatever you want. Like, here, I named it yes. Equals script.parent. By the way, it must be something that's actually, that actually will work when um, you put it into a script. Like, um, script.parent is something that just starts out in, um, a regular script sometimes. Well, most of the time. But, let's try another one. And, yeah. So, like, local yes equals script.parent. That, so yeah, that's just a tutorial I'm giving you guys. Like, if you want to add, like, anything to the script, that's fine. Because you can do... Uh, you can do, um, just anything with this name. Like, you can name it LOL, or you can name it Hi, or you can name it whatever you want. Even if it's just gibberish like this. Just like J J J J J J J. Okay, whatever. But yeah, that's the local script tutorial, like the local variables tutorial. And yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. See you guys later. Bye, guys.